Hey everyone, Anthony Ray with Ray Law Criminal Defense. Welcome back. In a recent video, we spoke about how to conduct oneself if you are charged with a crime that you didn't commit. Today, we'll take that one step further. We're going to identify what can happen to the person that initiates those false charges. The start of a criminal accusation is typically made with making a complaint. When a person makes a complaint to law enforcement, it is documented through a police report. The information in the report, along with any additional investigation, is then used as a basis for making an arrest. In many states, the action of making a false accusation falls under the crime of filing a false police report. As we always remind our viewers, each state has its own specific language that defines a given crime. The penalty for filing a false police report may include imprisonment and fines, which can range from a few hundred to thousands of dollars. Whether the crime constitutes a misdemeanor or a felony depends on the circumstances. If you are found guilty of filing a false police report that leads to injury, as a result of law enforcement conduct, it will impact your level of punishment. The greater the amount of injury to the accused, the greater the penalty you will face. The same is true for calling 911 or the fire department with false information and other similar actions of reporting crimes that are untrue. It can also lead to additional criminal charges and penalties resulting from the time and resources used by the officials to pursue the false leads. Yes, if you've been falsely accused and suffer physical, emotional, or financial injury as a result of the false report, you may be able to bring a claim against the false accuser in civil court for monetary compensation as a result of the harm that you suffered. Have you or a friend been falsely accused of a crime? If so, let us know in the comments below how it was resolved. To watch our video, What to Do If I'm Falsely Charged With a Crime, click on the link above or visit the Ray Law Criminal Defense channel for that and other awesome content. Thank you for the privilege of your time. We'll see you next time.